I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. When you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 22, verse 32. Brothers and sisters, how encouraging is the thought of our Redeemer's never-ceasing intercession for us. When we pray, he pleads for us, and when we are not praying, he advocates our cause, and by his prayers, shield us from unseen danger. Notice the words of comfort addressed to Peter. Simon, Simon. Satan wanted to have you, that he may sift you like wheat. But what? But go and pray for yourself. That would be good advice, but this is not what is written. Neither does he say, but I will keep you watchful that you will be preserved. That would be a great blessing too, but no. His words are, I have prayed for you, that your faith not fail. We little know what we owe to our Saviour's prayers. When we reach the hilltops of heaven and look back upon all the way whereby the Lord our God has led us, how we shall praise him who before the eternal throne undid the mischief which Satan was doing in our midst on earth. How shall we ever thank him because he never held his peace but day and night pointed to the wounds upon his hands and carried our names upon his breastplate. Even before Satan had begun to tempt, Jesus had forestalled him and entered a plea in heaven. Mercy outruns malice. Note well, he does not say, Satan desired to have you. He checks Satan if even in his very desires, and nips it in the bud. He does not say, I have desired to pray for you. But no, I have prayed for you. I have done it already. I have gone to court and entered the counter plea even before the accusation is made. Lord Jesus, what a comfort it is that you have pleaded our cause against our unseen enemies. Countermind their minds and unmask their ambushes. Here indeed is a matter for joy, gratitude, hope and confidence. Amen.